Hello and welcome to this video on race condition in software with example. It is possible to have a software system in which the output depends on the sequence of events. If the events do not occur as the developer wanted, a fault happens. This is the race condition. Now race condition is also possible in other systems like electronic systems or electrical systems or even manual systems. In a software system, race condition can take place when multiple processes or threads operate on a shared data. Race conditions are studied under concurrent programming. They are a concern when writing a multi-process program. Now let us see an example of a race condition. Say there is a process that reads x, then it increments x by 10. Basically, it takes the current value of x, adds 10 to it, and assigns it back to x. So if x is initially 10, it becomes 20. Read x, the initial value of x is 10. x is equal to x plus 10 means increase x by 10, so x becomes 20. The star here indicates which statement is executed. Now let us say there are multiple processes as shown. This is the process 1 and this is the process 2. X is the shared data. Now what happens? So X is initially 10, but the first process is in progress and the second process starts. Now the second process also reads X is 10. Next, the first process increases x by 10, so x becomes 20. Now, the second process has also read x is 10 and it also increases x by 10, so x becomes 20 again, which is incorrect because two processes have been executed and both should have increased x by 10. So initial value of x was 10 and now it should be 30. But we are getting the end result as 20 which is incorrect. So this is an example of a race condition. What is the solution to race condition? One solution to race condition is locking. So read x and x is equal to x by 10 have to run as a batch, meaning they have to run one immediately after the other. So this is called the critical section. Basically only one process or thread should be executing the critical section in any moment of time. Now let us say that we want to execute these two processes but with locking. So what happens? In process 1, x is locked, initial value of x is 10, x is locked in the critical section meaning no other process can read x or modify x. So the next statement has to be executed, x becomes 20. Now the critical section of the process is complete and the lock on x is released. Now the second process places the lock on x, it reads x, x is read as 20. Then the second process increases x by 10, so x becomes 30, which is the correct result. So in this video we saw what is a race condition, we saw an example of a race condition and we saw one solution to race condition, which is locking. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.